The U.S. is reportedly moving away from its 18-year initiative to counter terrorist groups. It plans to instead focus on supporting a new Indo-Pacific strategy designed to counter rising powers of China and Russia by redeploying troops stationed in the Middle East and West Africa. Kim ji updates us on the situation. The Pentagon is reportedly pushing to significantly reduce its forces in West Africa and the Middle East and redeploy some 200,000 U.S. troops stationed around the globe. This comes as part of the first step towards supporting its Indo-Pacific strategy and fulfilling U.S. President Donald Trump's 2016 campaign pledge of seizing the country's endless wars. Citing officials familiar with the matter, the New York Times reported Tuesday U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Asper is weighing proposals to move away from missions to uproot counterterrorism in distant places, unless they're deemed a direct threat to the U.S. on its own soil. The report revealed that Asper has stated earlier this month that the U.S. has begun a review process of missions, including those targeting terrorist groups operating in West Africa, with his team to have found that none of the terrorist groups meet the heightened assessment standard. The primary mission to deploy troops in Africa was to train and assist local security forces to suppress Islamic groups like Boko Haram and derivatives of Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. Asper is believed to have ordered a withdrawal plan of troops from West Africa until January, as well as an alternative for redeploying the troops. The Pentagon's new initiative could also be applied in South America and the Middle East, including Iraq and Afghanistan. The number of U.S. troops could be reduced to 2,500 in the coming months in Iraq. Asper has already expressed intentions to reduce about 4,000 troops from the current 13,000 deployed to Afghanistan. The report wasn't clear whether withdrawn troops could be restationed. Kim Jian, Anirang News.